Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play. Or, sorry, Let's 100% Vice City. Last part, we unlocked a second island, but largely ignored it so we could deliver pizza. In this part, uh, we're gonna do some, uh, missions from this nice man on the telephone. My compliments on a job well done, Mr. Teal. My client was very pleased. I have more work for you with a more hands-on approach. Your next job is taped under the phone. Sorry about that, I got interrupted. It's moments like this that make me swear that people are actively trying to stop me from making videos. Anyway. This, uh, by the way, my... I'm looking for ways of actually cleaning up my background. Ah, shit. Fuck it. Now, uh, this particular mission is a bit grim in how real it feels sometimes. You can kind of get the vibe of it just by, like, her... her, like, statements. For a lot of these other missions where you're be- uh, where you're essentially bullying other characters, like, there's always, like, an exaggerated kind of reaction. But the thing about this one is how regular it is and how, um, not necessarily real, but how believable it is. Like, literally everything she says here, just about, is like, yeah, this is how someone normally would react in this situation. <laughs> I love how it's like, make it look like an accident, I immediately got a wanted level. So yeah, this is probably one of the more grim missions that, I, that I've had. And she's actually doing a very good job of avoiding me. Man, she... She's getting really good traffic luck. <laughs> All right, man. I talked for I talked for a little bit about how like this. There's nothing really exaggerated or goofy about this, so it actually kind of makes it a little bit disturbing. But at the same time, I keep goofy stuff is happening along the way. Yeah, that line in particular is actually kind of believable in how desperate it sounds. All right. Now, I gotta hope that she, uh, lights on fire before I do. In many ways, it actually is beneficial to trade your car in before, uh, finishing her off. Because it guarantees that you can't... Shit. Because it guarantees that you can't be next to each other. So, after that, uh, budding creep, uh, bit of creepiness has ended, I'm actually... I am actually gonna go into the hidden packages and collect all the remaining ones left in the game. For pretty much all the ones left, or all the ones I really care to get in the eastern side of Ice City, you need a helicopter. And so, I'm gonna be leaving the helicopter ones until the end. Alright, since I want these videos to go a little bit smoother, I'm actually just gonna do my big montage in one long take so that it doesn't get interrupted unnecessarily with me talking about stuff you likely uh, either already know or don't care for. Okay, I forgot about this. The, the uh, first hidden package I'm going to show you is the this one up here. However, in the same lot is actually the VCN helicopter. So, whenever I come back to collecting hidden packages with the helicopter, it'll either be this one or the one on the rooftop on the hideout I already purchased. Although that being said, that hideout, uh, the one over here has, is really hard to control. So probably the one by my, or the one in my hideout will be the one I choose. All right, montage time.
Now, this is the last hidden package that I can get without a helicopter. But thankfully, as you saw right there, in spite of what I thought I was going to use until I remembered like halfway through, uh, the, the, the halfway through the collection that is, we unlock a sea sparrow. Now, it's actually very convenient that all of the ones we can get on land actually end- Well, actually, no, there are like two or three that I can get on land, but it's actually a lot more convenient to get them with the helicopter. Um, and a couple that- uh, even on Vice City East that I could have gotten by, um, by land. But, um, with the Sea Sparrow, it should be much easier, because the Sea Sparrow, it's- different functionality to every other helicopter in the game is that it can float on the sea. Every other helicopter, the moment it touches the ocean, it just sinks and you can't get out. So now we have something more stable. And that's very thankful because the first two, um, <clears throat> the first two hidden packages we're gonna get are out in the sea. And here it is, the Sea Sparrow. So yeah, it's a bit bare bones. Like it's the it's the <laughs> uh, the only way I can describe it is it's the clear Game Boy of the uh, of the helicopter line, but it actually is quite functional. Jesus Christ, that flash of loading is always a bit uh, disconcerting. Anyway, we're flying over Cortez's yacht. I don't know if it actually has any uh, collision, but yeah. So yeah, kind of an unfortunate thing about like segmenting this the way I have is that uh is that right here is a rampage and I'm gonna have to get back out here. So yeah, that's the first one. And the next one is actually very close. It should be on this rock formation down here. Hopefully I can land on it without Yeah, sure. I know there is a hover button, I just don't know what it is. Well prepared, let's player. So. Let's see. Oh, okay, well. Oh! It can't float when it's upside down. Well, shoot. At least I can get my hidden package. Wait. Is this the wrong rock formation? Oh no, come on, I know it's- YES! Okay, can I get in? Can I get in? Uh oh, I've killed myself like a moron. And I gotta recollect the Sea Sparrow. Okay, now one of the hidden packages is in the, oh boy, it's in the, it's in the police station. However, I forgot to actually get armor at my, uh, at my hideout, so I gotta work on what I got here. Am I gonna do a no damage run? No damage! Holy crap. Can I make it to the helicopter with no damage? Yo, no damage! All the way to the helicopter! I'm gonna get busted. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, he didn't get the Ken Rosenberg lines. Alright, well, we didn't have to go far to get to the station. Damn, don't fuck with Diaz's gang. They'll mess you up. Alright, now this is the one that is most likely to make me have to crash again. Thankfully, it is the last mainland by city one, but I don't want to lose my chopper. Alright, thankfully, you can't be decapitated by your own helicopter blades. And on this remote as heck hotel, one hidden package.
Uh, okay, so I may have accidentally skipped one that was in much more northern Vice City. Ah! So, as it stands, I made a stupid mistake. Which is actually very weird. Not, not because I'm, I'm like, <laughs> impossible, not because it's impossible for me to make mistakes, but it's because I made a, the mistake of like not picking one up last time, or in my practice run as well. But in that one, it was actually very simple. I was like, oh, it's the one by the army barracks. Oh, fuck. Okay, I just realized where it is. It's actually, I don't feel too stupid for missing it out. It's just that because I, I have the map on my phone, it's very easy to miss, and it's on the, it's in the stadium, which is on this side of the, uh, of Vice City, and I just forgot that all the way on the other side is a hidden package. Shoot. I believe it's... Alright. Yep. And with this... Hey. Okay. You got all of them. Here's a little something. It's $100,000. In addition to the real reward, the Hunter is now available from the Ar Army Barracks. So, I've kind of pitched a fit about how much I don't like the helicopter controls. I've kind of gotten more used to them as time has gone on, but I'm still... It, it's not as intuitive as, I, as it was in the console release. That being said, even in the console release, I always thought the Hunter was very difficult to control. And I always felt like it didn't control as nicely as I would like it to. Especially just because, like, trying to lean forward to shoot is really tricky. And I can't imagine how much more hard it's gonna, it's gonna be to fire. Considering, like, fire, I think, is control on this. While having to lean forward on with 9 on the numpad. <laughs> and, like, uh, what was it? Oh yeah, nine on the numpad, and then, uh, and then, like, I don't know what the hell I would use for m rockets. Anyway, so here's our rewards. For ten hidden packages, body armor. For twenty, chainsaw. For thirty, the magnum. For forty, the flamethrower. Now, oh, oh yeah, for fifty, the PSG-1, hell, uh, or I think it's just called the sniper rifle here. For sixty, the minigun, which cannot be wielded at the same time as the uh, flamethrower. Similarly, for 70, we get the rocket launcher, which cannot be wielded at the same time as either the minigun or the flamethrower. For, for 80, what we got was the sparrow, which I used to collect the, the rest of the, the hidden packages. For 90, we got... Uh, the tank, or the Rhino, as its appropriate name is. But, we'll be seeing that very soon. Not in this mission, or sorry, not not uh, not the one we got at the Army Barracks. Because the thing is, getting the Hunter or the Rhino out of the Army Barracks is a bit of trouble. Because, until you get a police uniform, they will fire on you on sight. So the easiest way to get the Rhino out of there is to basically fly your helicopter over there and then either just drop right next to the rhino and get in or drop right next to the hunter and get in but i'm about to go into a mission where i get to steal a rhino so let's see how this comes out Ah, crud, I just realized, no, I can't use the, I can't steal the rhino and then use it for, and then store it away, because I forgot that you can't actually, uh, you can't keep it because you put it in storage immediately. Whatever. I will at least get used to how I f drive the damn thing, because I drive it a bit odd. Diaz was pleased and would like to meet you again. Is that a good thing? Of course. Although I'm starting to think that Diaz was responsible for our unfortunate loss. What makes you say that? One does not wave accusations at a man like Diaz. I'm merely thinking out loud. No matter. 
I have a proposal that you could profit. I don't have time to run more errands, Cortez. I would have thought a man with such dangerous dates would be hungry for opportunities. Please, Tommy, at least hear me out. Go on. I have a buyer for a piece of military hardware that is being taken through town. Pick it up for me. And once you get it, I want you to call me immediately. Then... Alrighty then, so we're getting a piece of military hardware, which I probably should not have spoiled is actually a rhino. As far as I know, uh, the hunter does not appear in any missions at all. I think they wanted it to be special that, okay, the only way you're going to get this is either cheating or, um, or getting 100%. Because as far as I remember, you don't actually see it. That's not necessarily true about other uh, upgrades in other games. Notably, in San Andreas, one of the perks you get from uh, getting, I think it's getting all of the horseshoes in, uh, oh no, for one of the perks of 100% is that you get a, a jet right at your location in Grove Street. Uh, the thing is, you can get this jet in, in one of your other hideouts, you know, and you can't say that about the hunter, and actually something very nice about the hunter specifically is that it is actually also uh own it the once you get 100 percent, it'll be made into a or it'll be put into a more convenient location what's up with the gunner don't know sir so i believe they're gonna start firing at me like crazy okay so let's see if i can do this Too bad, because I'm about to finish my mission real quick, like. So this is how I always use the tank. Have the the nose pointed behind you, and you can boost through anything and get faster than even some of the faster sports cars. Because it actually has correct physics, or it has, like, physics applied to it. Presumably because they wanted you to be able to, uh, or they wanted you to slow down for firing, but now you can speed up. So that was a nice little taste of the Rhino. So you know what? I want more. So, if I want to satiate my taste for the Rhino... Oh wow, I'm very fortunate. So, normally, people would fire at you from all sides. So... Oh god! Okay, so yeah, here are the military guys and I just squished them. Oh, breakdancer with a broken back. It's perfect reason to go after people. So, I'm going to take this Rhino and drive it all the way to northern Vice or northwestern Vice City, back to my helicopter hideout. Why? Because next time, in addition to the mission, in addition to a few missions that we're gonna finish, I am going to do the vigilante mission. And I have never had a more satisfying vigilante mission in any game other than the Rhino with this one. It's freaking amazing. Did you think you'd ever see a drifting tank? Of course you did. The idea of it is fucking amazing. So, here's hoping I can avoid getting busted, except there's a cop here with... Okay. Please don't... Oh my god, he blocked me in. Wait! Hang on! This means that I can get... Hang on, I think I just got a completely free... I think I just got a completely free, uh, FBI car, because the FBI car exploded and then faded into my, uh, and then faded into my inventory, or sorry, faded into my garage. Oh my god, I got one. That's crazy. Well, anyway, uh, see you guys then. I already saved, so I'm good. Woo! 100 hidden packages. <laughs>